Hey guys, Dewey here from ZipTac. I just wanted to go through some of the new Ridgeline performance range of backpacks and the Bino harness. Um, there's the 25 liter and the 35 liter backpack. And then obviously the Bino harness, they both come in these two colors. So you've got the beach color they call it, which is just like a sandy tan color. And then you've got the real fair escape camo, which matches all the performance range from Ridgeline with their clothing. Um, I've been using the 25 litre Day Hunter, it's perfect for perfect size for what I need. Um, I've got the 35 litre out here too, it's a fair bit bigger, you can fit a bit more gear in it. I mean you can pack real lightweight and get that as an overnight bag um, easily. But yeah, I just wanted to go through some of the features on them. Um, they're fairly simple, very lightweight, I don't have the exact weights on them but I will um, weigh them and put it down in the description. Um, so yeah, basically on the 25 litre day hunter, you've got a small pocket at the top, which is just good for stuff that you need to get to quickly and easily. Um, I've got a little bug net in there, fire lighters and my head torch. But yeah, you can fit a heap of stuff in there if you want to keep your phone in there or um, even just like a bit of food, muesli bars, whatever. Um, that's a good, easy to access little pocket. Then on the front, you've got another sort of skinny pocket which is the same sort of thing quick easy access stuff i've got my gloves in there hand warmer knife sharpener fire starter and extra tack rip spool in there as well um, this is the pack i've been using so this is you know pretty much what i use plus or minus a couple of things every now and then and then you've got one big main compartment which is your 25 liter compartment um, you can fit a heap of stuff in this. It's like, if you've got any of the other Ridgeline packs, the older ones, the Mule or anything like that, this, I feel like that you can get a lot more in this, even though it looks like a similar size. Um, it's just a bigger, there's not as much bulk in the bag itself. So it's fairly, fairly sort of basic, it looks like in the way it's constructed, but super strong. Uh, I've got a Shamag in there. That's my little Helinox chair, which is awesome. I don't always take that, but sometimes if I feel like I'm going to be sitting around somewhere, it's pretty cool. Water bottle. Got a hoodie in there, as well as the new Ridgeline pack light jacket, which is the small waterproof jacket in the Real Tree Escape camo as well. Might do a separate video on that range. There's the pants with that as well. Um, what else have we got in here? Knife. A few other little bits and pieces, but keep like a little emergency tarp shelter in there in case you need to make a shelter with a bivy as well which is good you know there's enough in here that if you got stuck out in the bush overnight you'd be sweet um, yeah towel and then the blini which is the face the new face covering from the performance range as well um, that's in the escape camo and the necker tie which is good it's a bit cool now, I might put that on. It's a bit windy out here, I don't know how the audio is going to go on this, but... That's really good, it's like a just general face covering, just to pull that up quickly when you need it. So yeah, basically that's your 25 litre bag. Um, I could easily set this, this up as an overnight bag as well, um, just with good quality lightweight compact gear. Um, if I was really planning on doing that I'd probably go to the 35 litre though and there is a 45 litre coming out which I don't know why I think it's been delayed for I'm not sure what reason that was supposed to come out at the same time um, but yeah so I, I find this to be a perfect size for me just for normal hunting when I'm heading back to camp or back to the car at night um, that works out well so then, the other thing that I use with this as well, and the way I've got normally have this set up is I can actually fit the bino harness inside this bag as well if I want to, if I'm not wearing it. Um, you know, a lot, a lot of the bush out here is pretty thick. Binos sometimes just not going to help you. Um, but yeah, so that brings us to the bino harness itself, which is that also comes in the this beige colour if you need it with other camo or whatever and you don't want to use the escape camo um, I've got some fairly compact I've got the Maven these are B3 so these are a 10 by 30 
um, pretty compact but you can fit heaps bigger binos in here if you need to I'd keep that in there it's a rain cover for the bino harness which I don't think I would ever use that I mean your bino should be waterproof um, yeah I, I can't really see a reason to use it but you know if you want it it's there um, you got a couple little pockets on the side here which I keep my release aid in one when I'm bow hunting um, which is that's really handy just being able to pull that out whenever you need it that's pretty cool and if you don't use a wrist strap um, I keep a Leatherman in one side the little Leatherman wave which generally I like the Gerber multi tools but when I'm out bush the the saw on the wave is really good if you need to cut through some branches or whatever pretty quick I like to keep my pockets pretty empty when I'm out. Um, sometimes I'll put my phone in there, but I'll show you another thing with that. So that's my little wind checker bottle. But yeah, so you've got, basically you can attach them. That comes with those little things. You can attach pretty much any binos will have these little loops on them that you can attach, or you can keep them loose if you want. Uh, you've got a padded harness on the back, which is fully adjustable and easy. These They've got these new aluminum clips which are noiseless, basically they just hook in through the, um, the nylon loop there. So it's really quick and easy to take this on and off if you need to. Um, there is these, Ridgeline do have some other pouches which are coming out that you can attach to the side to put more gear on this. Um, like to be honest, sometimes when I, if I'm going not too far from the car, like I know the area really well, I'll just go out with this. I know, you know, I can be back within half an hour pretty easily. Um, but on this side I've got my rangefinder attached of course the new pouches should be coming out soon hopefully and they have a proper molly mounting system but I've just got this cable tied on um, so yeah so hopefully the new pouches they come in that camo they'll be out soon as well um, so yeah that's it's pretty simple but a great size like I've, I've had other ones before which are too big but this is perfect um, yeah that's and it's super super comfy super lightweight and easy to get on and off so that works really well so that's what i use with mostly the backpack bino harness one or the other or both see how and that's how that goes so then you've got the 35 liter i grabbed this out in the beach color just to show you the difference um oh, i'll show you this as well this has a, a rifle holder on the side this pack has that as well i don't have it on there um I, I just strap my bow to the side when I need to without that, but you can do this with, you can use this to protect the bottom of the bow as well so it doesn't get scratched on anything. But that's basically to put the stock of your rifle in and then you've got these straps on the side of the bag. Same on this one, um, so your rifle can go down there. It's great, great if you're hiking in long distances through areas you know where you're not sort of hunting um, and you're not carrying your rifle. And then, I should show that on this bag as well has this, this um, so you've got your padded straps padded back plate which has like a it's got like a plastic sheet frame in there to keep it more stable um, and you do have a, a pocket in here for a bladder if you're into that I normally just you take a water bottle but so yeah you've got adjustments here on the straps so depending on just the way your body the bag sits on your body you can adjust that um, to make it sit higher and lower You've got a chest strap, which is awesome. I, I do that up underneath the bino harness. Um, yeah, and that's that's easy to reach under the bino harness and undo that when you need to. And you have the waist strap as well, which I find really good. I, I pretty much have that on all the time. Um, so yeah, so both bags have all that. This one as well, they've got the side straps. The extra thing that this bag has, obviously it's bigger, and it's got a much bigger pocket on the front but it's got these straps on the front which are removable so if you don't want them on there but they're great for strapping meat to the outside of the bag as well if you want to but they have that same um, aluminium hook system as the bino harness which is pretty cool so yeah but you can take them off if you don't want them much bigger pocket on the front here that you can fit heaps more gear in I've got in there I've got a knife and a couple of bandanas these are bushcraft survival Australia um, Gordon's designed these bandanas I'm gonna do another video on those as well 
Um, they're pretty cool. They've got designs on them. One of them, they've got one with all the different animal tracks, uh, mostly native animals, a few others, and then there's just like a survival bandana which has the survival uses on it, printed on there. So they're really good. Um, what else have we got here? You've got that sort of same quick access pocket on the top. Oh, I didn't mention that on this, but they both come with a rain cover for the bag. Again, not something that I use very often. All my gear is waterproof, but if you're in, if you're walking long distances in heavy rain, that is actually pretty useful. Um, so they both come with that. Uh, I've got some gloves and a bit of paracord in there. Slightly bigger the top pocket on this bag than the 25 liter, but again, that's just good for your, you know, quick snacks or food or whatever else you want to put in there. And then, very similar design, you know, front pocket, top pocket, main pocket. And you've got your 35 litre main pocket on this bag, which is, when you're thinking about the litres, like especially if you use like other backpacks, like your tactical backpacks and that, um, they've got a lot of small pockets on them, the tactical backpacks, and they add all that up separate, like as if you filled up those pockets individually, um, and you don't really get that sort of capacity out of it. So this is a 35 litre, but I would say like a, you know, your tactical backpacks, 55 litre would be equivalent to this 35 litre. So you can fit a lot more gear in this. I've got a the Ridgeline Ascent jacket, which is awesome, I love that. Um, what else have I got in here? Coffee maker. This isn't how I'd laid out this bag. This is just stuff I had sitting around that I chucked in to fill it up and make it look full. Um, that's a SOL. Uh, all season blanket. I'm gonna do another video on that. That's a new one. That's really cool Another little bivy for that one This is the pants from the pack light Ridgeline range which goes with that jacket that I'm gonna do another video on uh, I've got a one liter water bottle and in here I have a Full-size synthetic sleeping bag. So that just sort of shows you how much gear you can get in here um, You know I can get a full tent and sleeping bag that fits into that size if you're using good quality compact gear. Um, so you can easily load this out for overnight. But yeah, so that's a zero degree full size synthetic sleeping bag. So that's got a fair bit of size to it. Fits in there easily. So yeah, that's the 35 litre pack. Um, yeah, all that gear back in quick and easy. But yeah, for me, I like the 25. Um, I, I, you know, I'll wait and see what the 45 looks like. I don't know if I'll, if I would use this one as what, like I'm not gonna, you're not gonna have all three packs. Um, I mean, I suppose you could, but it might be a bit of a waste of money to do that. But if you just want one to do everything, I'd probably go with that 35, because it's sort of gonna get you the best of both worlds. Um, I'll probably have that and I'll probably end up using one of the 45s as well for your sort of longer backpack hunts and stuff. Um, but you can definitely do that with this 35 litre if you're sort of got good quality lightweight gear. Um, the good, the other good thing is these front straps on here, which the 25 litre doesn't have. Um, so you can, you know, if you've got a couple of sacks in there or whatever, you can just strap stuff to the outside of the pack pretty easily. You can do that on this, but you have to use paracord or whatever to tie it up yourself, um, which isn't too hard, but yeah. So other than that, that's back's pretty much the same it's got that same adjustable top strap on it um, which makes that makes a big difference for different people the way it sits on your back um, chest strap the same with adjustable height on that and then again with the waist strap and they're all removable straps too if you don't like them for whatever reason you don't like using straps on there um, I really like using the waist strap and the chest strap so yeah so that's it basically that's the Day Hunter range, that's the Day Hunter Plus, Day Hunter 25 litre. Um, and, fell on the ground over here, Bino Harness. So, yeah, I'm going to do some other videos on some of that gear that's inside these bags. Um, check it out. Hit me up with any questions if you want to know anything about it. I'll, I'll get the weights of these bags and put them down in the description and maybe do some measurements on the height and everything of them as well. Thanks for watching guys and see you next time.